In this video, we highlight the PV enhancements and parabolic solar collector features within the VE. Modulit now offers the ability to create geometric PV panels using the Place freestanding PV panel tool. Set the placement parameters and dimensions. If you click here, you can access the PV types editing tool. PV panels of all kinds will be assigned PV types that specify their photovoltaic and metering attributes. A meter assigned to each PV type will allow the output of groups of PV panels to be aggregated for reporting purposes. This becomes clearer in Vista Pro. Freestanding PV panels can be assessed. If this is appropriate to the site, simply place them at ground level and choose the orientation. These panels will be modelled in Suncast as objects with the potential to both give and receive shade. So why is this a useful feature? Well, you can visualise PV placement and optimise design decisions by carrying out iterative modelling. Animate and compare, then use this information to evaluate the most effective place to position solar or PV panels. So you could assess the suitability of adding PV panels to the roof of the eastern side of the building, evaluate these options, perhaps this isn't the most appropriate placement, then move to the west side of the building. The PV panels essentially become objects added to the room browser list. To edit the properties, we go into Apache, and select Electricity Generators from the toolbar. Geometric properties of parametric panels are defined as sets of user-specified numerical parameters, which can be set up here. Both freestanding and parametric PV panels will be able to coexist in a model. You can now see the freestanding panels that have been created in Modelit are now available to edit. It's now possible to have multiple PV types and you can assign the electrical output of PV panels to meters. Remember to run Suncast each time you make changes. Once you've completed the simulation, we can review results in Vista Pro. For all the PV panels you've created, the outputs will be combined to generate a global electricity output. Vista can determine everywhere there's electricity generated, realises what meters have been assigned to that, and puts those meters within that assigned use. However, all I want to show here is the comparison of the results. We can see that PVs placed on the west side will displace more electricity. In addition, you can gain added depth to your results by using Suncast to output solar intensity results for PV panels. You can view these results without going into Vista Pro. Another new feature is the Parabolic Trough Collector. This is a new renewable capability within Apache Systems. You will notice you now have two options, Flat Plate Collector and the Parabolic option. Pump power in the Parabolic Solar Collector can be metered and they can be used as a DHW preheater or as a space or process preheater. Resultant energy reduction can be seen in Vista Pro as Apache Systems, Boilers DHW Energy and DHW and Solar Heating Pump Energy. To discover more about the new features in the VE, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at isve.com.